Uh, based on my own ideas and your ideas as I talk to you, let's move very quickly through these five questions because we're running out of time. Uh, question one, how does the film present time in between scenes? Nobody took this question. I think it presents time in between scenes by fast cutting, moving people faster, moving cars faster. And I think it does this one reason is because to save time, but another reason is to connect these scenes with history. History moves too fast for the individual person. So by moving these scenes faster, we slowly transition into the larger time frame of history. So that brings us to question two. Uh, why does the film focus on history? How does it do that? Uh, starting from the second half, some members noticed that the film includes lots of photos, videos, books, mentions about what's going on. And uh, they think that the main reason for this is because learning about a person's history in society and their personal history can help us understand these people. So for example, Jamie always says his mother is born in the Great Depression to kind of explain her behavior. Uh, but often in the movie, these explanations don't explain everything. So they help us quickly understand the characters, but that's only a starting point. For the rest of the movie, we learn about the characters from their interactions with each other. Number three, is Dorothea's plan a good one? One group chose this question, they said no. And the reason is because it seems like Dorothea only asks Abby and Julie to help teach Jamie because she herself thinks that she cannot do it by herself. So it's not a smart plan for Dorothea. It's a necessary plan. Um, but this group further thinks that the reason Dorothea does not think she can teach Jamie well is because she feels like she is no longer part of current society. So whatever she teaches Jamie uh, would not prepare him well for his future. I think that's debatable depending on how we look at the second part of the question. What kind of things does Jamie learn? Things about feminism and women and behaving towards women, but also about the personal experiences of the two women, Abby and Julie. So it's not just whatever they say he learns. He also learns from their own experience and their own attitudes towards life. So if that's the way Jamie learns, he can also learn the same thing from his mother. Dorothea doesn't just teach him by what she says, she also teaches him by what she does. Uh, and so what role do books have in his education? A guiding role. He learns important things from books, but he, when he doesn't use that knowledge properly, he gets beaten up, he makes his mother sad, even if the books are correct. So that kind of tells us that learning from books is not enough. You also have to learn how to use that knowledge properly. Number four. How would you describe the plot arc? Why are the scenes in this order? I ask this question because I don't know. Uh, I think that the main organization of the plot is to find a way to get us into the personal experience of each character and find reasons to put people together to talk about life. But I don't think there's a necessary order for the uh, these scenes. Any order that kind of flows between one scene and another, I think is a good order. But in any case, the movie, I think, works. It does make sense. Number five, the awkward dinner scene. There are two topics in this scene. One is Abby talking about menstruation. The other one is Julie's uh, first time having sex. And the groups who chose this question noticed that the film seems to react to these two topics differently. The movie seems to support discussing menstruation but it also seems to think that Julie's story is too awkward, too embarrassing. And maybe the reason is that menstruation is a bodily function that every female woman goes through, uh, but that the first time a person has sex is a personal decision and so reveals more about a person's mental state and attitude toward life. And maybe Julie's early age of 14 uh, tells everybody that maybe something is wrong in her life, that she's not a happy person. Personally, I think she's depressed, uh, but we don't have too much evidence for that, especially because her mother is a psychiatrist, so she probably would know if her own daughter was depressed, and yet the movie never tells us that. Questions? Okay.
So sorry to keep you waiting. If you haven't signed in, please come to the front and sign in. See you next week.